Morning, <laughs> Friday. Well, I hope you got lots of builds done this week. Let's see how many to do. Oh, one, two, five. There's about 15 saws this week. Um, it's John Fogarty's birthday. Happy birthday, John Fogarty. I was just listening to, um, heard it on the grapevine. Just a classic song, I was rocking to it. As you kind of see me moving around. Donnie can't dance, but he can move. <laughs> yeah, Friday, man. Wow. Almost the end of the May. Like I said yesterday, I'm going to go kart racing. Um, gates open at 8 tomorrow. We'll leave here about 7. And I'm going to go on this beautiful track again for, uh, oh, to 1 o'clock, I believe. 75 bucks ahead, but hey, I'm telling you, it's well worth it. So yeah, been a good week. Um, had a few little situations on um, the 572 X Torque. Um, I had one that was like brand new. It only been used for bit. It was for the Coastal Fire Service here, and it was weird. It, the, the primer primer was getting sucked in the primer pump there, and and uh, being so new, I was like, well, what the heck could be wrong with this thing? So. I just did the old mechanical thing again, you know, electronic stuff on the car battery or on the computer. I can't tell you. Doesn't tell you if it's got dirt in it or a leaking seal or anything, but it does show the numbers when you download them that kind of give you a, a hint that maybe it's got an air leak. Maybe it's too rich, like you got a dirty air filter. But you still got to be able to, to figure out what that situation is. So... On that saw particularly, the screen in the carburetor is completely plugged with it's like this brown kind of goo. It's weird. I kind of think it's from them running it at the factory because the fuel filter was perfectly clean. I even got it open and looked at it. So there must have been something from the factory. They've, at the factory, they don't put fuel in the saw. They, they, they hook a line to the carburetor. And then they have this mechanical thing that starts it. Then they run it, me pin it for so long to check the EPA numbers, and then boom, off it goes into the box to send to us folks all over the world. So, yeah, that was weird, that one. I cleaned that, just put it back together, did not one other thing, did not try to reset it or nothing, and it just worked, worked perfect. So um, that's something to look for, you know, and I had another one as well that had... Um, a little pin in the fuel line, I think at the factory. They must have put the fuel line on with a pair of needle nose or something, something little sharp, and they poked a hole in it. And a guy called me from up north and was having a problem. I said, well, just check your basic stuff first. And anyone out there, yeah, always check your basic stuff first. Fuel filter, fuel line, spark, compression. You know? They still run on all that, and then you got to look at that stuff, even though it's got a computer carburetor or fuel injected. At least the fuel injection, um, the the um, fuel injected cutoff saw of, of still has a, a magnet in it, a fuel filter. And I was talking to the still rep yesterday, and I said, you know, why do they have the magnet in the fuel filter? Why don't they have it on the in the saw one and stuff? And I got to thinking, and he said as well, you're cutting metal. So like, yeah, you're right. The metal, that little, little metal particles, and you're cutting with a cutoff saw. Cutting steel, not concrete. You know, it gets all over the gas tank, all over the machine. So as you open it, all those little particles will fall. Some of those particles will fall out of the gas tank. So that magnet attracts it in the fuel filter and won't let it get stuck into the um, injector. 
So the 500i just has the regular fuel filter, part number 40350-3518, that's their newest one. And you know what, it's been actually working really good, that fuel filter. I take newer saws that have been run for a while with that fuel filter, and I look at this, it can be pretty plugged up, that fuel filter, and I'm thinking, geez, I better go through the carburetor. That's, you know, that's the lung in the engine, I told you that before. And um, nothing in the carb. So those are a good micron fuel filter. Maybe you guys should be using them on on other saws, you know, except for the, 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 the where it fits into the fuel line, the fuel filter is still bigger, so it's a little hard to get onto the Husky or whatever. The Husky ones work fine too, as long as you change them more often, like I said. Spark plug fuel filter, air filter kit. I'm actually thinking of coming up with a kit at work. Every model, 500i, here's your, here's your tune-up kit. The little spark plug, like I've talked about, so you gotta have the right spark plug wrench. Fuel filter and air filter. Those three things should be changed all the time. Not necessarily air filter so much, but keep it clean. You know, even though it looks clean, I've had brand new, fairly brand new, still um, air filters. You clean them, they look fine. Uh, but you sit in there running the saw, and you throw that filter on it, and boom, it bogs it. You're like, wow, even though it's got a carburetor compensator, it's still killing it. So that thing's completely plugged with those fines. So it's only 25, 30 bucks for an air filter. Just buy another one. Or wash them really good in hot soap and water, rinse them out with hot water and, let's, and then see if they'll, they'll clean up. Any holes in it, just replace it anyways. But there's not that much money. Just have, buy an extra one and have it with you. Keep one clean in your pack. And you know, halfway through the day, it depends what you're cutting. You know, that old growth fur I've said before, six, eight inch of bark on it. This Filters are plugged within like a tree. Especially the guy shaves it. A lot of guys like to shave the sides so they get at it. But uh, I talked to a couple of buddies. Say, That's kind of weird. Just get your shave your spots where you just want your wedge. That way you're not getting such so much out of your saw. But I'm sure some of my followers' buddies will go, "Yeah, whatever, Dotty. You don't even do it out there." But I know. I've seen enough of it. Talked to enough people. Anyways, yeah, man, uh, Friday, brought in my little girl. She started a new job now. Uh, she's um, assisting at a dental surgeon. So she's just so happy, she's learning so much and uh, just a good future for her. Yeah, kick your kids in the butt, man. Get them educated and get them out to the workforce, to, to a nice workforce. You know, I gotta start somewhere. She started, uh, making ice cream cones downtown on the waterfront. So a lot of my friends go, hey, I see Taylor today down on the waterfront. I go, oh yeah, she works at the ice cream store. So then I believe that was her first job. Then she worked at the body shop, like a soap place in the mall. Yeah, not high paying jobs, but I got her, learned her um, some respect for money and work, you know, and strive to, you know, what she wants in life. So yeah, getting those kids off that computer and video game. Just give them so much time on it though, because it is important. I've seen some kids that were uh, computer nerds when they were young, when they ended up being uh, millionaires and are close to it or doing really well, but not too much of it, eh? Get them out, get dirty, take them fishing. Anyways, you don't want to hear about all that. You guys want to hear about saw stuff. Yep, just did a 462, gonna go back and rebuild that, put it back together, I mean. Uh, 372X torque and um, I'm gonna do a little uh, video a fellow was asking yesterday about the air injection I'm gonna show you how that works on a couple different model saws I might even do that this afternoon as I'm testing a, a couple saws at the um, at the shop what else was there a guy talked about oh about cleaning the carbon in the motor. I'm gonna get a really carboned up old saw once I get, I'm gonna look at the consumer pile. And I'll find one and do that seafoam spray to it and see if it actually cleans it up. I'll take before and after pictures. See if that, that works. I've used it in four strokes. I've had generator motors, water pump motors that sit around, Honda motors, Chinese ones, whatever you wanna have there. Um, I definitely have had ones that smoked 
and done the sea foam pretty heavily to it and it, it, it deglazed the cylinder and it got the rings to seat again and stopped smoking and cleaned the valves up and gave it more compression. I've had that happen many times, even on the little still four stroke uh, combi units or four stroke uh, trimmers of still. I'm telling you, man, you take those, set the valves or don't even set the valves. If it's running, fine. Take it and just squirt that crap stuff in it till it kills it almost. It'll smoke a lot, so do it outside. Well vented air area, maybe wear a mask um, if you want. And just do that like three or four times, almost kill it, and then just pin it full throttle for a little bit and shut her down and let it cool. And check your compression before and after. You gotta let it cool down though to check the compression again. Then set your valves on those little still engines. Then then try then then check your compression again. Then then just run it. But you'll you'll notice it'll it'll definitely improve those little motors. And I've done hundreds of them. It's worked for me. Um, I've even seen tests with that Red Armor uh, Echo Oil, Shadow Oil Red Armor, and results of uh, like an old old blower that was really carboned up and the, the thing had no power and they ran that stuff through it for so many hours and geez man it came back it came back with power and compression that oil burns really clean and gets rid of a lot of deposits so that's good to use if you're a landscaper or homeowner the red armor stuff um and just run you know good good octane fuel with it as well yeah that's it it's friday man it's nice out Tomorrow's supposed to be quite hot, so I'm gonna take my tent and a bunch of water. And then I'll have no concession there, so I gotta take take a lunch. So I better get out of her. Have a great day. Keep your saw in the wood. Happy Friday. TGIF. Bye.